and the time, it's like a timeline. And some things will make sense to you, some things will not make sense. But it's stuff just junk that I wrote. So. Yes, sir, go ahead, count. Ready? <laughs> in time, in the blink of an eye. When a man has time to think about what's important to him. When you have jobs, that's not really what you do. That's not really who you are, it's just what you do. Deep inside is the real you, waiting to be a ballerina, a fireman, an artist, whatever. Okay. When you think you have unlimited time, but then realize that 50 years have gone by. You realize that money and things are not as precious as time. In the blink of an eye, we went from there to here. <clears throat> Us. Making DNA along the way to getting here today. The first time I saw Frankie, she was walking in the hallway of UWM in Milwaukee in 1967. Sometimes you just know. It's like something that was lost was now found. I saw her again on the stairway going down to the student union and I followed her down there. We saw each other more and more and I had a word bomb. It was called Bongo Board. They had these boards down there that used to go on. It's called Bongo Board. We used to go on that thing. Anyway. Uh, we broke it. <laughs> yeah, we did. And, uh, so then she moved into the dorms and we had a grand piano in the grand hallway. Uh, we started see, see, seeing each other in the resident hall dorms, word bomb date rooms. Okay, we're going on now, going to the gigs with the band, and then going to Armstrong Creek in the 15th Chevy and Pal. Fireman's Fun, this is when you walk in Fireman's Fun, mini skirt fun, cruising the avenue in downtown Milwaukee. First apartment on Oakland, light another cigarette and the bus will surely come. Quit school, lakefront fun. Nose bleed third floor apartment by Gloria Bob's place. Vietnam, be the first one on your block to have your boy come home in a box. P.S. I made it. I came home in January from Da Nang, 120 degrees on the flight line, so I didn't leave the house until April. Then I looked up my old girlfriend. Lost was found, the pieces fell together, and love glued them in place. I lived, in Ma I lived in Free Slate, Wisconsin, outside of Milwaukee by Pewaukee, and she lived in Madison. She was going through her divorce with her first husband, Bob. And uh, I said, Madison to Free Slate, Free Slate to Milwaukee, to Madison. And then, because she lived in the trailer court where it went up and up and around, there were so many places, and I didn't know where to go, and I told her to light a candle and put it in the window. So light a candle. I said, in the window, it's like a corn maze up here with the trailers. <laughs> <laughs> Drive that 72 Camaro, she had one. And then the blue opal, BGT, she had one, back and forth. Make those Stoughton trailers, that's when I worked at Stoughton. Lake Pass, Lake Pink, past Lake Caganza, back to Davy Heights. Big Bamboo, Strebler, Abraham, and Sue. Yay! <laughs> I wasn't flashing like Sue mother, then. <laughs> an office girl, working on the square, she was always there. I am making her my wife on, June, on November 2nd, 1974. We lost some DNA right away. Try another day. Summer in our sky ship forever sailing the wind. Our trailer was like a sky ship on the top of this Bayview Heights trailer court, with the windows open in the summertime and the windows like this and uh, was that? Uh, the orange curtains would blow. Who is, who is the people who did the song, Sail in the Wind? Oh. Okay. No, I know, I can't remember. It was like, it was like that. It was like being in, felt like being in a sailing ship, anyway. Uh, okay, so I know, let's jack up this long, long trailer, pack up Abraham and head north. Lose a wheel or two along the way, Green Acres, we are there. <laughs> Try again, but not to win. Wait one more another, and after we're going up the country, let's move to Texas, up in the hills. We live in the town of Texas. <laughs> Trip time. Kids, hold those speakers. I'll put three over that time. You have to say what that's about. Okay, oh, so God. <laughs> In the days before we had like built-in speakers in the car, I had speakers in the back seat, and the kids would be in the back seat, and I'd have wires running for the speakers and stuff. So they'd go around the turn and have to have the whole speaker so that they wouldn't come apart or whatever. They don't come fly across with what the kids. Yeah, no. The uh, and the other. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
the seatbelt would have been really inconvenient. We didn't even use seatbelts back no. then, did yeah. we? The no, speaker no held you in. They were house speakers. Yeah. <laughs> they were huge. <laughs> they were oh, like man. suitcases. <laughs> So then we didn't have cassette players. I mean, we, we had cassette players, you know, cassette tapes, you know, the little thing. We didn't have MP3s or CDs or whatever yet. And so I had taped my own uh, songs on there. And this one song by Jimmy Buffett called Criola that I really liked. I put it on there like six times. So I would put that on in the car, and the kids would just go freaking crazy because I just keep playing it over and over and over. It's like six steps. So that's what that has. Yeah, right. Like. Okay, trip time. Kids, hold those speakers. I'll put the old on again. Uh, meet a furnace, a well, windows, etc. Frankie, cook those books. Thanks, Walter. She worked for Walter Goffey, a plumber here. And everything that she made as, as, her, as his bookkeeper, she would put into our furnace, our well, windows that we put in. Chimney. Chimney. Hot water heater. Oh, all the fun stuff, all huh, that Frankie? Money, all that money that she made <laughs> the house. So she made the house. Mm -hmm. Channel 9, what a time. 287 an hour. Just play with the boards, set the lights, direct a few. Narcissistic pretty faces stocked with PBS lovers. Mm -hmm. No IBEW for you. I'm out of here. I, got, I, I quit Channel 9 because they didn't have a union and I was making 287 an hour. Uh, as a director, so... <laughs> Uh, can't get a union in a channel line, then go to insurance inspection. <coughs> Underwriter service company, Hooper Homes running around ragged. Where's my GPS? It's platform. Yeah. I don't know if you know anything about it. Before GPS time, if you wanted to find a place, this company would send me addresses to find in Platbook addresses. Okay, you're at 45 North Range, 6 West East, whatever it was. However, a, a Platbook is set up. It's not like actual... Uh, numbers on the grid. So it's like in this book for the county, it tells you where you are on that book. We would have to go out and find where that place was on that book, find on a map how to get to that place, map that place, map six places like that, so you could make a circle and be home by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So that was like, oh. was a and hold the speakers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hope he wasn't so driving from the back. Yes, yes, no, it's, no, it's plat books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My milk vat runneth over. Seeger's fund 13 years, processing fluid milk. 2% coming over, a whiter shade of pale. I used to wear white clothes all the time that they provided for me. It was great. I loved it. Uh, Mike and Derry work at the store 12 years so he can stock the shelves with the milk. Ah. <laughs> Makes sense since I'm an Aquarian. Shop pig. <laughs> Mom needs a second job. Wait, 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 I skipped a part here. Okay. okay. Uh, Mike says, sure, I'm glad I don't work there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best dairy fairy I ever had. <laughs> 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 All right. So, <laughs> uh, thank you, Frankie. <laughs> Sure, I'm glad I don't work there anymore. Mom needs a second job. Thanks, Toby. She worked in town for Toby, Toby uh, uh, whatever his name is. Uh, but to his insurance guy, Becca, and all the other bosses that didn't do right by Frankie, I say, pick a finger. All right? So she had gotten screwed over at so many other jobs that she had at that time. It was insane. Okay, so after that, then, tend the DNA garden. <laughs> Holly. Tend the vegetable garden. <laughs> Holly, please weed it. <laughs> the real test of a parent it is that they can survive their kids through their teen years and have every one of them exceed your expectations, you may have done something right. Mm -hmm. Empty nest, finally some rest. Let's fish Ranger Boats and Camaro ZL1. I've had my fun with them, but now I have a patio, a new driveway, and a tractor. <laughs> uh, Back in 05, I stroked out and was saved by my special angel, guess who? Frankie. Frankie was a drone at WPS and it broke her head. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to need you to remember 12 passwords and you can't write them down for 12 <laughs> different programs. That change once a week. She said, too much input. She said, 
Sure glad I don't work there anymore. <laughs> Long road back to taking trips. Concert lists. Picture this. Take the pics, save the pics, plot the route, reserve next hotel room down the road. Plot the trips. Plot the trips. COVID hits, makes me flip, but we survived to fight another day. Through all this and I mean through all this, the one constant has been the love we share together. Sure, we have arguments, and sure, she wants me to hit in the back of the head with a shovel every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> and, but sometimes, and sometimes it will, someone will always say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> it's a long haul, so it's said. But is it really? It's so vivid and seems like it just happened yesterday that I saw this girl in the hallway for the rest of my life. All this in just a blink of an eye. Is it really 50 years old? Oh, very nice. You guys got a kiss, you know. <laughs> oh, yes. Very nice. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, <laughs> very so nice. So I was thinking I had to write something, you know, and it was kind of like a chronology of what we went through. And, and, that was beautiful. Uh, yes, very so I just nice. Want to let you know, like I said, if you guys want to stop by the house, oh, and I bought this for you. Here's the gift for you. Now, this is something that. That every girl should have. Carrot. <laughs> Ten carat ring. <laughs> it's a fake pen. A fake pen. Is it? <laughs> Three hundred. Right. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, Goodbye, this dear. This is diamond polish. Yes. You use this when you want to polish something very fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and over the years, I bought you so many fine diamonds that another one wouldn't make any sense if you never go anywhere. So here's the dust. So here's the dust. <laughs> <laughs> you got to find your own buffer there, Frankie. <laughs> I actually bought yeah. that polish because when we got married, we had three roses that we saved, and we put those roses into an acrylic mold. One was a square, one was a half circle, and one was a pyramid. And those roses, <coughs> we still have them on the is buffet by our coven. The, and the they were getting color? faded out and then scratched and everything. And I thought, maybe oh. I can polish it with that, you know. So I don't have the tools to polish it right, but that's why I bought that years ago. <laughs> so when, she, when she gave me the kisses, I said, oh, i got to get her stuff on there and grab that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so thoughtful. Yeah, right? Awesome. Well, do? happy 50th anniversary. Well, I've had That's, yeah. Like All the kids who were involved. Yeah. I don't know who else was involved. All the, uh, this party is from all yeah. your children. Very, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Get around, get everybody. <laughs> Cut the cake and eat it too. Here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I gotta get these two behind me. Are you taping it? Yep. Happy anniversary. anniversary. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.